I'd like to walk you through an example of how to use the linear regression 100. This is a study in Thinkorswim, which you can select here under Add Studies, but I've already got it, so here it is in the Edit Studies. If you want more details on exactly uh, how the linear regression channel 100 is built, click on More Details and take a look at it. We're going to start with uh, Home Depot, and we're going to start on the 28th of May at 9.30 in the morning. And you'll see that we've got, uh, in this 10-day period, each candle is 60 minutes. We have a high at the top end of the channel, going down to a low at the bottom, coming back to a near high at the top. Let's move ahead now to the 29th. One more day, still 9.30 in the morning. You'll see we haven't changed that much. Price is starting to drop off moving towards the bottom. Let's move ahead now to the 30th, 9.30 in the morning. What we notice here is now a sudden change of slope. Our orientation of which 10 days we're looking at has shifted and we've lost the 28th and 29th. Oh, we've, sorry, we've lost two days at the left hand side and we've moved and now the linear regression line is at the center here for these 10 days and the highest point is now here. The lowest point is still the same low point. Our old high point is now below the high. So where are we going to go? We could, we could continue to go up, we could continue to go down, we're in a flat period. Let's move forward to the 31st at 9.30 in the morning, and we've got no change. Let's go ahead to June the 1st, we've come down now and we've formed a bottom. The linear regression line shifted again to a new 10 day establishing a new 10 day period we still have our high of 5009 our old low is no longer the low of the line we have touched the bottom and we would expect now to either form new bottoms or to start making a bounce up so let's move now from the 1st of june to monday the 4th of june and you'll see that we did continue downwards and we created a new low. So you won't automatically get a bounce off the bottom towards the top because again the linear regression is going to change every hour where we're dropping one hour at the left and adding an hour on the right hand side or in the case of what we're doing we're dropping a day and moving forward a day. So when we moved forward a day we created a new bottom that attracted the price from here down to the new bottom. Let's move ahead now to the 5th of June, Tuesday the 5th, 24 hours ahead. And we've got price now that's moved up away and is starting to make its way back to, presumably back to the top. Let's go to the 6th of June. where we've jumped up at 9.30 in the morning and we're moving towards the top. Let's look at what happens just a few hours later. Let's change the time to 12.40. We've made a new top at the top of the linear regression. This was one of our tops. This had been one of our lows. This became a new low. We moved right to the top. Let's now go to, let's move ahead now to June 7th. We're continuing, I don't know what happened to our oval here. I'm going to delete that oval and recreate it here. We're moving along the top, channel, the top of the channel and we're looking at 12.30 on the 7th. 
let's go to uh, the end of the day. We're still flat and moving along the top of the channel. Let's move to 4.30 or the end of the day now on Friday the 8th. We've created a new high. Here now we have a series of three new highs that have been formed and we haven't yet started our move down. What you need to know is that when you get to the top or the bottom of a channel, all you do is if you're at the top and you're long, you move your stop up. When you're down at the bottom and you're short, again, you would move your stop down to give you more chance to take advantage of any further down as we saw here. Let's move forward now to from the 8th to the 11th end of the day on the 11th. We now are starting our move down. We should have, at the completion of this candle, or some, somewhere along, somewhere in between these two candles, we should have taken off any long position and gone short. Let's move right to the uh, 13th now. Skip a day. Go to the 13th, where we find ourselves having come down now to the bottom of the channel. And you see we had a bottom here. Remember this bottom that we drew? It's now come down to the top, touch that channel again. Let's now go to the 14th. 14th, we're starting to move up. Let's go to the last day we have available now in uh, think or swim, which is the 15th, which today is the uh, 17th, and we're starting to move down towards the bottom of the channel. There's nothing saying that we can't touch the bottom of the channel again on Monday, but the general direction after having gone down or up to down to the top, creating a new high down to the bottom, the direction now is that we are going to move to the top of this linear regression channel on a 10-day, 60-minute chart. We're in this flat period here. We may come down as far as testing the bottom again for a double bottom, but the trend is we've had a top, we've had a bottom. If we do form another bottom, it's just more confirmation that we're going to get back to the top. Hope that was helpful.